It seems like Tesla and its billionaire CEO cannot stay out of the news for long. This time, the company is in hot waters with the National Transportation Safety Board. Why exactly is Tesla in trouble? What is the NTSB's beef with the car company? Keep watching to find out more. What happened with the National Transportation Safety Board? The story started back in 2017 when the National Transportation Safety Board shared letters with six auto companies that have vehicles with level 2 driving automation systems explaining that their cars were not properly engaging the drivers and this could cause unnecessary accidents. Level 2 refers to partially automated systems that can control both the steering and acceleration of the car, but this doesn't mean that the drivers can take their attention away from the road. The NTSB shared recommendations with the companies on how to get the cars to engage with drivers and alert them to real-time concerns such as incoming vehicles and ask them for ways that companies would be fixing the issues. According to the NTSB letters, Tesla's autopilot feature did not sufficiently keep the driver engaged. Even though the NTSB does not have the power to regulate or recall, and so holds no power to force the companies to change their ways, five of these companies responded with their plans to update and fix their systems within the 90-day period prescribed by the NTSB. Guess which company didn't respond to the official letter? If you guessed Tesla, well, you're right. Congratulations. This coupled with the increasing number of accidents of Tesla vehicles in which the Advanced Driver Assistance System, aka Autopilot, was turned on made Tesla target of the board. What's happening currently with Tesla and the NTSB? Now let's come back to the present. Tesla received yet another letter on October 25th from the NTSB chairwoman Jennifer Hamendi. Turns out the NTSB is pissed that Tesla has still not implemented the safety recommendations given by the board all those years ago. Not sure how Tesla drivers and fanatics feel about this move, but we sure as hell don't want to be stuck in a car with faulty security features, right? Another issue that Ms. Hamendi raised in her letter was that Tesla called its new software full self-driving, despite the fact that drivers are supposed to keep their hands on the wheel at all times. She said that the name is misleading because it could lull the driver into a false sense of security, taking their attention away from what's in front of them. As if the company wasn't getting enough flack, around the same time as the letter was published, Tesla had to pull back a new update for its full self-driving FSD beta software version 10.3. This happened just a day after release after drivers complained about issues such such as multiple fake forward collision warnings, auto brakes when there was no reason to brake, disappearing auto steer option, and problems with traffic-aware cruise control. In a tweet, Elon Musk mentioned that the company was rolling back to the previous 10.2 version for the time being due to these complaints. How is Tesla faring with these issues then? Despite the legal trouble and the amount of people calling Tesla's autopilot and FSD systems, the company is still doing great as ever and crossed the 1 trillion mark in the stock market at the end of October. But while the company might not have anything to worry about just yet, if you're looking to get a Tesla for yourself or know anyone who drives one, this is the time to open your eyes and keep them on the road. Talking about keeping your eyes on the road, let's take a look at some of the worst car crashes involving the Tesla cars in the last few years. This might just help you realize the importance of paying attention, even when your car is a futuristic autopilot featuring vehicle. Number 1. Walter Hong, Apple employee The first crash on our list is from more than five years ago. Walter Hong an engineer working at Apple Incorporation lost his life while driving to work one morning. According to earlier reports, he was allegedly playing a game on his phone when the car crashed into a concrete barrier, which the autopilot had failed to detect. This couldn't be proven, however, and the police launched an investigation into the matter. Hong had previously complained about the autopilot system flaking on him on the same road where his car crashed, according to his family, but they couldn't say for sure whether he had informed the company of the glitch. This didn't stop them from suing the tech giant, claiming the car Car design was faulty. Number two. Joshua Brown, former Navy SEAL. On May 7, 2016, Joshua Brown's Model S sedan was part of a fatal crash with a tractor trailer that was stuck on a highway. The roof of the car was completely obliterated. During the car ride, the autopilot feature was on and the car gave Brown several warnings, which he seemingly ignored. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Brown had set the cruise control of the car at 74 miles per hour two minutes before the crash. He didn't attempt to brake or perform any other 
other tasks right before the crash. A 500-page report was shared by the NTSB on the incident, and they couldn't find any defects in the aftermath of the crash. Number 3. Jeremy Baird Banner Two years after the Joshua Brown accident, Jeremy Baird Banner, a 50-year-old man, met a similar fate as Brown when his Tesla Model 3 crashed into a trailer on a highway and the roof got completely destroyed in the collision. The autopilot was also functioning in Banner's car, albeit an updated version than Brown's. While Brown's car had autopilot turned on for more than 37 minutes, a report after Banner's death found that he had only engaged the autopilot about 10 seconds before his crash. Like Hong, Banner's family sued Tesla for his wrongful death. Number 4. Omar Awan Omar Awan lost his life in a fiery car crash when his car crashed into a tree and the lithium battery caught fire, burning down the whole car. His Model S sedan wheeled off the road for some unknown reason. Officials couldn't determine whether the driver lost control of the car due to a technical flaw or some personal issue. Awan had been speeding, onlookers told the authorities. His car swerved over three lanes of cars before the final crash. Not a good way to go at all. Number 5. Unnamed Man Man and woman. The latest car crash on our list is only two months old. Back in September, another Tesla had a fiery crash in Florida, killing both the passengers sitting in the car. The crash took place near a residential area, and it wasn't identified whether the advanced driver assistance system was engaged when the car crashed. The two passengers were a 20-year-old man and a 19-year-old woman. Number 6. The Two Unnamed Men Two men, a 59-year-old and a 69-year-old, were driving down outside Houston when their car crashed into a tree back in April this year. Initially, the police reported that there was no one behind the wheel when the car crashed, as one man was found in the back seat and the other in the passenger, and neither was in the driver's seat when their bodies were discovered. However, camera footage from earlier shows that the owner of the car had sat in the driver's seat earlier, and coupled with further reports, it was confirmed that this was wasn't the case of abusing the autopilot feature of the car. The car, which was a 2019 Tesla Model S, couldn't negotiate a curve and crashed into a tree, the battery setting on fire and burning the car. This brings our list of some of the most dangerous Tesla crashes to a close, which brings us to the next section of the video. In other news, like we said earlier, it seems that the Tesla CEO and billionaire Elon Musk just can't seem to stay away from the spotlight. Whether it's for his company being investigated by the federal government or he's launching space shuttles in the middle of a pandemic, the techpreneur is always in the news. This time around, Musk has been come fodder for jokes and memes after he proposed selling 10% of his company's stock, leaving the decision to his Twitter followers, who made the decision for him by choosing between yes and no in a poll made by Musk himself. He said that he would do whatever the poll results demanded, and a majority of the voters said yes. Of course, there's always more to the picture when big bucks are involved, and many people have guessed that the real reason Tesla is selling the stocks might be because of a $15 billion tax bill. Senator Ron Wyden of Oregon, who has been pushing for taxing the rich segments of America for quite some time, replied to Musk's tweet that a Twitter poll should not be the deciding factor in making the richest man in the world pay his taxes. Musk was obviously not happy with this. Guess we'll see how this tirade ends, since Tesla's share has fallen after Musk's initial tweet. That's a wrap for this video what are your thoughts on musk's newest controversy let us know in the comments below make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this catch you on the next one